Well, one of Indy's most beloved Santa helpers has passed away. He was known as Indy's Santa Fred. You can find him anywhere, really, from Zionsville to the Children's Museum. Our Mike Sullivan shows us how one local neighborhood is looking to pay tribute to their favorite Saint Nick. Seeing isn't believing, believing is seeing. Only we aren't talking about a storybook Christmas here. This is real. And so is this Santa, at least to one indie community. I mean, if a little kid pulled on his beard, they were gonna find out that it was real. 365 days a year, indie Santa Fred never took a day off never stopped believing. His grandfather was a Santa Claus, not on the scale that Fred was. Take it from Fred's Mrs. Claus. They've been married for more than 40 years. When I met him, he didn't have a beard and he had dark hair. Yet as time passed, the whiskers grew white, the demand for Indy Santa Fred grew long. He was totally booked some 12 hour days. Neighbors in Irvington calling him their perpetual Santa. And he went to a grocery store. Sometimes children would start yelling, there's Santa. Only those cheery voices fell mute in October as Fred fell ill. He had developed septic shock, believed to be from a kidney issue. His last public appearance was actually on Fox 59. Santa knows. He turned the corner about four or five times, and we thought he was going to survive it. Sadly. Fred passed away. I didn't realize that he touched so many people's lives. A woman in Irvington suggested planting a Christmas tree in his honor. And all of a sudden, there was a chorus of voices saying, boy, that would be a great way to honor. A tree has been donated, and Stan Densky is helping his fellow organizers find a spot. The Irvington Library just up the street, the Benton House. Or possibly Irvington Circle. There will be a metal plaque of some kind probably something about this size. Every year, children will decorate it, giving their perpetual Santa a perpetual tribute. But there are people that you and I both know that if everybody was like this guy, the world would be better. That is Indy's Santa Fred. In Irvington, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. A beautiful tribute, Mike, thank you. The Irvington Community Council has put the tree tribute on its agenda for January. Santa Fred was commonly seen in Zionsville as well. Mrs. Claus says that city is in the process of planning a tribute too.